Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. I was too busy admiring the majestic Chapter 2 AO here on this crisp fall day at Glory Cycles in front of the roaring fire. <laughs> Joking aside, we are really excited to have the Chapter 2 AO gravel bike here in the store. We teased it with our interview with Mike Pride earlier this year, which you can watch on YouTube. I would highly recommend it. The AO here is the new gravel bike from Chapter 2. It means Earth in the Maori language, which, if you're familiar with Chapter 2 bikes, follows the nomenclature of their previous efforts, the Tere, the Rere, and the Huru. Part of the reason that the Chapter 2 is well suited for any road that you can tackle is due to this drop stay right here. You can see this on many other gravel bikes like the Open Up or the Ibis Haka and Chapter 2 has followed suit with the AO. This allows the Chapter 2 to be used with very big tires, 42 mil on 700C and 47 mil on 650B. In fact, our Chapter 2 national sales rep, Brett Lindstrom, has said that he's used the bike with up to 50 mil tires, which is an incredibly huge tire, which means that the Chapter 2 is both at home, on road, on gravel, and can even be used as a great rigid mountain bike in certain instances. You also have this great paint job here, which is hunter green with a nice high visibility orange, which really speaks to the outdoorsy nature of the bike. That's encapsulated by this Lord of the Rings motif on the top tube, which says, not all who wander are lost, which is appropriate considering that Lord of the Rings was filmed in New Zealand, written in the UK, and Chapter 2 is a New Zealand-based company. Other features of the Chapter 2 that make it a great all-road bike. As you can see here, it is incredibly sloping, has a really slack head tube angle with a high stack. That puts you more towards the center of the bike so that when you're on off-road surfaces, your weight is evenly distributed. This means that your tires are putting equal pressure on the looser surfaces as opposed to a road bike, which typically wants to put you in a more forward aggressive position and allows the bike uh, to really get skittery on off-road surfaces. Because the Chapter 2 puts you in the middle, it's a really stable ride. Now, even though it is relaxed, Clive, the owner of Glory Cycles, rode earlier today and says it got to see about how this gravel bike was able to handle like a road bike. It really could be a bike to replace all other bikes. In other gravel bikes, it felt a lot like I was steering a Cadillac. I really didn't like how I had to force uh, the bike on the road, but the Chapter 2 is nimble while remaining stable. It's a really nice balance here. So the AO is really versatile. If you want to use it for racing, you can. Or if you want to go bike packing, you can build it up like this bike. There's a ton of different water bottle bosses here and fender mounts. You can see there's a Pinto box boss here on the top. There's another water bottle boss here on the bottom along with these incredible uh, details. There's some fender mounts on the front, fender mounts on the rear, and even pannier mounts if you want to put it on some luggage racks. The Chapter 2 has chosen to go with a 31.6 seat post standard, which would indicate that it's going to be a little more stiff, but this is due to the fact that most dropper posts are 31.6, and as a result, Chapter 2 is sacrificing a little bit of vibration dampening in order to give you the ability to run a dropper post, which means if you really want to get gnarly on the Chapter 2, you absolutely can. Up front, uh, it's just a normal cockpit setup, albeit if you want to get in full race mode on your gravel bike, they will include a mana one-piece bar which is the absolutely excellent Chapter 2 Aero handlebar. It's got a really good grip, really good drop, and although it's stiff, it does provide a surprisingly forgiving ride for gravel purposes. All in all, the Chapter 2 is not really reinventing the wheel in terms of gravel bikes. It's doing a lot that other gravel bikes have done already. Although, what it is doing is it's consolidating all of these things in one incredibly great package that you can make your own. 
Chapter two is sold as frame only. It's 2,600 bucks at retail. It is not sold as complete bike. So that way you can really make it whatever you want. You can go adventure style like this. You can go race style. You can even make it into a flat bar bike. It is absolutely customizable to whatever you want. The chapter two really encapsulates what we at Glory believe a gravel bike should be. It should be versatile, should be high performance, should be stylistically good looking, and it should operate as one bike to rule them all, which is especially appropriate given the Lord of the Rings quote on the top two. So if you are interested in a chapter two AO frame set, if you wanna figure out how to build it up to maximize your gravel riding, please do give us a call. Let's talk about it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the AO, please reach out. Make sure to like and subscribe to our videos. Check out the other videos we did with Mike on chapter two and check out the interview we did with Brett Lindstrom. All right, well, uh, thanks very much for taking the time to visit with us and we hope to see you again. Okay.